They gave you a diagnosis, one that I asked my mom about when I was 14 years old. I rarely ever saw you, but in those few instances, I learned what you were. I swore to myself that there was a reason that I felt a certain connectedness to you. It took me seven years to discover why that was. We don't have the same diagnosis, and although we both share a sense of awkwardness and social anxiety, I knew there was something more. Last February, I saw your hands when I closed my eyes. Last March, I felt you touching me when I laid on my stomach face buried in a pillow and eyes closed. Last April, even though I was hundreds of miles away from you, you overpowered me and took control of my body once again. Last May, I began seeing your face whenever I closed my eyes. And when I finally saw you, everything started to make sense. All of my feelings of guilt, disgust, and shame, the loss of power that I had experienced weekly, it all made sense. I was only four years old. The sound of my muffled screams haunt me no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. I wake up almost every night afraid that you're somewhere close and you're coming to take what you want from me once more. I was afraid to talk to my girlfriend about you because for so long she thought that she was the first to ever touch me. I spent hours on end rehearsing an apology because even though I didn't know it at the time whenever I told her that she was my first, I was lying to her. I felt guilty for having given her all of me not knowing that you had been there before, that you had made me so unclean. And your stupid fucking diagnosis and my unhealthy amount of empathy that I feel for people dealing with mental illnesses make it impossible for me to be mad at you. There are nights when all I want to do is look you in the eyes and scream at you for taking away my innocence. But you look so sad, almost dead. And I can't figure out why you did what you did or why you chose me and if there were others. The only thing that I can be sure of is that I know the emptiness that you know. And even though I shouldn't feel any sort of sorrow for you, I do. I'm so sorry. I know the pain and agony that goes along with living the life of a mental illness. Most people want their rapists to suffer, and all I want is for you to have one day of peace.